Caribbean Comedy Commerce is the very first for us. And we're going to be doing this almost every carnival. This is our launching pad right here. Caribbean Insight. Really is dynamite. Caribbean Insight. Really super. For spite. Caribbean Insight. Enjoy day or night. Caribbean Insight. This is the movement of our people, our history, and our country to the world. Anybody know the name Stock St. Hill? Oh my God of mercy, was, uh, give him a round of applause because, I mean, and check it out. I know Stock, he is hearing you giving him that, uh, that round of applause because, you know, this guy used to do so many good things. But the good thing about Stock, he, is that he's gone, but he did some stuff for us by training people. This guy who works here with us tonight, Stocky's the one who trained that guy. Stocky was a real ass, you know. And he make you a real ass too, you know. And I'm telling you, this guy here, take all of what Stocky give him, and he brings it for everybody after. So I want you, don't clap. Put the love in your hands and welcome on stage, Daryl Mendoza the Saint. Yeah, good night and good night on top right now i i come to talk truths because they say the funniest things is the truth right so first begin let me ask anybody eat um pepper here right nice nice now i realize that people who just eat pepper don't like people who do eat pepper right are you already, already realize that some for some house people who eat pepper fine boy that food isn't good but you know, pepper blah 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 so I now like my little doubles and thing, but I like my doubles with no pepper. But if you like doubles with no pepper to end, darling, with no pepper, right? You ever, you could get doubles with no pepper? You, where you get that? Darling, no care how I try to get a doubles with no pepper, it could never happen. And you know why? Because the same spoon that is dipped in the china is the same spoon that dip in the pepper. And so when you buy a doubles and you want no pepper, guess what? You're getting slight. So your boy go on Independence Square, Port of Spain, and ask for two doubles with no pepper. But I end up getting two doubles with slight, and one of them had a little more slight than the next one. So by this time now, pepper is burning me. I go on in the man cooler and he have no juice, no water. All the man have is two very, very, very cold peanut punch. Listen, I know double and peanut punch is not the best combination. I tell myself the milk will help me now, right? Because they say Papa Bullion you drink you eat milk, you know what I'm saying? I drink the peanut punch. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. When the nuts went down and bounced up the channel i don't know what went on no I, I was expecting a reaction i was expecting it but i wasn't expecting it to happen so fast immediately as the nuts went down and bounced up the channel like they started a fight and i don't know who was winning but here i know all you i don't know who was winning but here i know somebody was leaving Oh, you understand my channel? Oh, yeah? Hello, the middle of Porto, Spain, Independence Square. I have a hot, burning one. If you ever experience that feeling, just say yeah, yeah. And the ones who didn't say yeah, yeah, they might be burning now. So they can't make too much of noise because when you're going through them things, the slightest off movement could make things slip. And that is when I realized the importance of our bowel movement. Listen to me. That does set priorities in your life. That does let you know exactly what is important and what is not. Yes? Listen to me. That takes away all admonitions, everything. You see the people on them who who very clean and they like everything clean? They'll watch a drain and say, eh, that drain is dirty. And here, when that take your soul, 
That same drain your bar talk, you'll see tiles in it. In your head, you're seeing tiles because damn, it have no negotiations there. That is when I realized, that is when people say, you know, they say this, shh, hold you. Everybody here say, boy, I, 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 I think hold me just so. It's like a police. It holds you. And the difference between a police and a bowel movement is that you can negotiate with police. You cannot negotiate with a hot... Shh, let me call it that. Let me call it a hot... Right. I realize the importance of that. Nothing else don't make sense at all to you. You just be looking at somebody and they're looking like a urinal. Head gone. So this is me. And let me tell you something. You ever notice... The closer you get to home, is it so yeah? That is because your stomach has GPS. GPS everywhere looks like a great place to shh. Listen, when it coming, it coming. If you have a job interview to go to, that is very important. And you have a hot you better do it you know because you will go into the interview and talk a setter <laughs> so i couldn't hold it in again because sometimes when it reaches a certain point the slightest ease could cause slippage <laughs> so i'm running and walking funny independent square have four toilets Right? Knock on the first one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Knock on the next one. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I kid you not, if it had anybody not to the toilet, both of we would have been using it together. Because I couldn't make four. Listen to me. Listen, all you, all you know I'm talking about? Pause raising. Yeah, listen. Talk the truth, Tobago. Talk the truth. You're ever on the throne and you go, ha. <laughs> that big man, that I'm there, that, eh? Listen to me. Oh, gee, listen. In the middle. And me handling my business. Just so out of nothing, the man in next cubicle will say, Where's the scene? <laughs> no, I'm from South. And this is, I, I, I was I'm new to Porter Spain. So I don't know if there's some kind of Porter Spain thing where they just talk to one another while you understand. So I said, Well, <laughs> I said, I, I did, I did. He said, what are you doing? I get along comfortable. I say, well, um, what have you been doing? Uh, you know, you're, you're not smelling it? <laughs> All of a sudden, Tobago, I hear the man say, what are you doing later? Well, boy. It cut. It cut. I forget why I went in there for. Wash my hand, ten gap, wipe, blah, 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 blah. And I start a course. I say, so I'm not in that with you. I just come into my double, I'm cussing, I'm cussing, I'm cussing. I'm cussing. You know, all of a sudden, I hear the man say, baby, I'll call you back. Eh? It's about stupid money next to you. You answer me every time I ask you a question. Tobago <laughs> say, yeah, yeah. I see him. <laughs> How much of us is just going to the toilet with your phone? Imagine you minding your own business. Yeah, hi baby, what are you doing? And the next money to let you. You know what I mean? 
So moving along to my next topic, I thought I'm staying longer, talking serious things, real things. By the way, my name is Darl Mendoza. How many of you listen to 95.5 here? Show your hands. Let me see how much. Thank you very much. Yes, I am also the clean hill from 95.5. Yeah, that is who I am. I just talk. Shh. So on that topic now, sometimes when you are in desperate need of a ball movement, certain gases might escape randomly. Does anybody in here know what flatulence means? Yes, flatulence, right? It's a poem. Some, some call it other, other names. But you will not believe. You will not believe many of you here tonight may have smelt one already. Because there are people amongst us who do not have any sort of care at all for the oxygen that you are breathing. We all have a friend who they say, boy, better outside than inside, yes? And, and they are and and really nearly all about, yes? So I have come up with something I call the protocols of pumming. Yes? Now, first to begin with Tobago, I see that being impolite. Some people say it's a healthy thing, right? But I see that being impolite. Right? First to begin, you're interrupting my oxygen. And, and, you know what I mean? And a poem does not sneak up on you like a bandit. You have prior knowledge that you are going to poem, yes? You just know, you just know when you're going to poem. I mean, you know what I tell you, you're going to poem. You know you're going to poem. So, you know you're going to poem. It's easy. Excuse yourself from the people. And, and, let it rip there because we do it one day right and this is the common mistake that people make some people just boom and feel they can walk back right away no <clears throat> what you be doing there is leaving a whole trail of poem behind you so right you walk away face the audience oh, no 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 face the cameraman right cameraman take one for the team you lay your business right before you walk back fan it away now if music playing you get through because then you make some quick circles so bust the poem and walk back quick therefore you reach here poem stays and there's a saying that the poem does follow the original owner for some reason you try to leave it but they just hi right so you walk back and you're normal nice i will teach you this next thing the almighty god made the human body in such a way that you cannot sit straight and boom I dare any of you to watch me in my face straight so and boom you must lean to her side Tobago say yeah yeah you must lean to her side so if the person in front of you is leaning and nobody is blocking them they are pumming Tobago good night have a good night you are watching Caribbean Inside TV, where history flows and culture grows. Remember, your free subscription keeps us moving in the right direction. So subscribe to keep the culture alive.